lawsuit burns a little girl on a neighborhood playground. Right now, hazardous materials crews are cleaning up this caustic mess. It's on Sunnybrook Drive, just south of Farm Road 2243 in Leander. KXN's Chris Willis there, live with our top story. Chris. Robert, good evening. This is the site of breaking news tonight. Again, Westwood subdivision off 2243 in Leander. Let me set the scene for you. You can see Leander fire crews are here now. They are in the decontamination process. They've also put the yellow caution tape up all around this park. This is the Westwood community pool area, and we are told that muriatic acid was poured all over this park. You may or may not know muriatic acid is used to clean swimming pools, adjust the hardness and the pH levels in swimming pools, and coincidentally enough, the community pool is right next door. Regardless, investigators believe vandals are responsible. As you mentioned, Robert, a two-year-old girl was burned by the acid. It is isolated to her backside. She was reportedly going over a slide in the park that contains some of that muriatic acid. Right now, decontamination crews are testing all areas of the park to see how widespread this is. They believe 20 to 30 spots have been identified, and they found at least two one-gallon buckets of this acid. And we were just told in the last few minutes they also found some Coke cans that were filled with this muriatic acid inside. The muriatic acid has actually been poured throughout the park, and currently we are evaluating how much contamination we have throughout the park and what decontamination we're going to have to do to uh, make the, the park safe to turn back. All right, there's good and bad news here. If muriatic acid or really any kind of acid touches your skin, it can cause an immediate burn like that two-year-old girl experienced earlier in the day. We can tell you she was treated. She's going to be okay. She's back home tonight. The good news in this is that muriatic acid dissipates with water. So these decontamination crews, I don't know if they've begun yet, but they're going to take hoses and go ahead and try to decontaminate this whole area, dissipate it with water. The area you're looking at right now is their decontamination site. They have crews inside on the playground where they believe this muriatic acid is, and as they come out of that park, they're hosed down, and that water dissipates the muriatic acid that may have gathered on their shoes and on their clothes and on some of the gear they're wearing. So a great night for some rainfall but to dissipate that muriatic acid, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So they are taking the hoses in, and that should take care of the problem. They also, if anybody has any information, they want you to be able to contact the Leander Police Department because they believe a lot of people were at this park today and someone knows who put that muriatic acid here. For now, we're live in Leander. Chris Willis, KXAN, NBC Austin.